Did you know that you can uh, transform a hoe into a housewife when you exhibit the power to change her God through the law of influence? It's all about having and being a certain man, a purist. So what is your cut? It's a really good question, right? So what is the cut of your masculinity? And what is the caliber of your command in your conversation? Or are you uh, a lost little boy trying to hold masculine frame? Now, you want to argue with a uh, female talking about her uh, masculinity or her masculine frame, uh, bringing out the bitch in you instead of the other way around. See, it's all about the masculinity in the inside. The divine masculinity in the inside. See, it's not just holding the frame or the image of a man, but also carrying the spirit of the man. So whenever I hear a, a, a male complaining about a female, about her behaviors and about you know, why she can't um, demonstrate a, a, an act of submission, right? Or why she can't comply with you. It actually has nothing to do with her, but it has everything to do with you. Because all she really is is exhibiting and mirroring your behavior and your inner confusion, okay? Now, what is the, the origin of man? The, the origin of man is a pipeline or a conduit of God. That he is, I am. Everything gets passed through him. Now, if you look at the word providing, right? Now, you, you think of it on um, a, a fleshly uh, matter of uh, providing materials, uh, I look at it as providing uh, the intangible things, like providing a way, a source of nourishment, a source of uh, encouragement, right? A source of inspiration, leading the woman to her aspirations, right? Giving her an image, creating a, a, a new image, because you gotta see a, a female worst enemy is her memory. That's what she's dealing with. She's dealing with a previous recording from an experience she had with a guy probably just like you. But you wanna lie to her. You wanna, you wanna be like a, uh, a deceiver with a sugar cube in your hand trying to feed the gazelle instead of just being who you are. The reason why you can't be who you are is because you don't know who you are. Now, when you look at the idea of, um, you know, wanting to uh, possess her soul, the question is, do you uh, possess your own soul? That question is rhetorical. Do you own who you are? Do you own your truth? The law of influence is all tied into that. See, when a woman looks into my eyes, she can see the purity of who I am. She can see the essence of who I am.
and what divine masculinity is, is force and tact. Now, I know you said, well, when you say how you, you talk, you know, you're supposed to do it with, with you talk and not force. Well, see, the difference is, is, you know, you carry yourself with force. That means you carry yourself with bravery. See? There's psychological effects for being timid versus there's a uh, the psychological effect of basically being brave because bravery is leadership, right? What is man? What is a, an all true man, a purist? He is the salt and the light of the earth that purifies the woman's state of mind as well as his fellow constituents. That is the law of influence. See, the salt in my conversation adds flavor to your mindset on how to be. Now, are you slick at listening? Or are you slick at stealing? You know, try to steal one of my lines. Think it's cool, let me try it on.